Hey guys, JC6 here back at you with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So we got, we're in um, Glowsburg's office right now. Where we found out Red White has connections, that's why he's um, protected by the law. So, oh guys, let me close the door here. We got a distraction going on. Right now we we have a sus now we we're trying to find some dirt on Red White to, because of this possibility he may be me a face killer. So let's go to the um, we, yeah right last time we were about to present something to Glowsburg. Hey, sorry, sir, I borrowed this. Ah, so is you, my boy. Who is this man? Um, it's a long story. I'll be needing that back now. I better give him back the photograph. Maybe they unlocked the talking sequence or something. I don't know. Sorry, my boy, I don't think I can help you with that. I gotta present him everything then. I mean, you know, I, I, after I try everything I thought, so possibly I just try everything. Okay, apparently, we're not supposed to present. Goldsburg anything. So we're gonna move away back to the detention center. Let's see, um so this guard monitors the visitor's room. He has to move an inch. A real pro this guy. And yeah, we're gonna move away back to Blue Corp. And we'll, we'll try presenting Red White on pretty much everything. Would you be kind enough to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put in language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. Um, yeah, I... See, it's not working, it's not... Yeah, let's see, um... He's telling us to get the heck out. Um, we'll go ahead and just go back to the hotel room. Examine that screwdriver again. Screwdriver is still stuck in the drawer. I better not touch it. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. Um, I guess we gotta go back to the to the offices. Check all the all the case files. Let's see, they're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Misty Faye, that's me and Maya's mother. I have torn this to Faye's name, leaving only these words my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. During the ESP that went to my family, I held an audience with the dead. Following the names of two men servants, 
One was Martin Grosberg who stole my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. See, J through S. Watch in here. Maybe I'll just skin some of these. I'm flipping through a bit, I guess. At the end of S. Suicide. Ew. There's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. What drove them all to? I can use all these newspaper clippings to find the most disturbing one. Okay, now we can go back to the Grosberg. I found this in Mia's files. So oh, she was investigating red wine as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Um, yeah, we're going to move to... Um, we're going to move back to the Daywater Hotel. Detention Center. Um, yeah, Daywater Hotel. The Blue Corp. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. You know, I really hate having to repeat myself. It seems the message has not yet perpetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Well, are you going to punch me again? Make myself clear. Yeah, we're gonna try the newspaper clipping. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. It's embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. This concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word, white. So I, I know that you did this to the politics politician. So I think I think he blackmailed them. You're blackmailing him. Not just him either. You were trying to convert coercing hundreds of others. You're involved in all of these suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. What's the wrong? What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. They should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Ron will be leaving now. Yes, sir, I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. Um. Oh, um, you're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. What I should be doing now is going after you. So what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So Copra would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. We won't be needing an escort from Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the pro public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you do doing calling me at a time like this? Uh, hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The media case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, 
I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is, is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed but could be violent. What? You are the violent one! Screw you, man! Executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. So why this is another one of those? These prostitutes, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? Tell me to send the police now. Why are you having the chief prosecutor said? Couldn't you call the police yourself? You're a mere lawyer, as with me a fay. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you'll be tried as Mia's, Mia's killer. This is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth would offend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they may even make even you look, look competent. I, I feel faint. Instead of gum she reporting, sir. Oh, butts, Harry Butts. Why, right, actually, Phoenix right, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, present to you the man who killed Miss. Why would I want to kill her? What's my motive? This is the sp she wasn't she one of my law one of my partners. Why would I want to kill her? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. September 8th, 3.37 p.m. I can't believe it's only been days since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Why well, it's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. It's worth included. Antonio was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright. Amaya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes, it's all thanks to you. Ha, huh, now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explain what happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man have to eat to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Well, Mr. Chairman, help me break out of here, Maya. Maya. Okay, listen up. I want you to help me break out of here. You mean a jailbreak? Yeah, tonight's our only chance. <laughs> Alright. I better go get a hacksaw while the stores are still open. And rope ladder in a getaway car. Can you drive? Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're all on my side. <laughs> there isn't anything you can do for me anyway. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I got to get that man piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, then. Come to the court tomorrow. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a, length, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Oh, it's, oh they're explaining this now. I always thought it was strange about the three days thing, but... Um, right now they're explaining it, you know, how it's not realistic anymore. Almost all finished in a day, most of a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in a defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it, it's me or him. I guess they had to cut down on the court trials to save money and time. They had to save labor costs. And you know, time's money. Now let's go ahead and save and... Let's 
Let's see, September 9, 9.52 a.m. Alright guys, next time we'll go ahead and um, continue on with Trial 2. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. And I'll see you guys next time.